With the FNAF movie being released, I introduced everyone to the terrifying experiences of working within the nightmarish world of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. However, with some games being left out and many questions left without an answer, I took it upon myself in order to uncover the truth about the rest of the FNAF games, finding their horrifying backstories to finally answer the question, which FNAF game would realistically be a real life nightmare? So once again, I am Ebonic, like and subscribe, and join me as we finally uncover the burning truth about the FNAF franchise. Okay, now before we actually get to the sweet rankings, I need to explain how the rankings of this video actually connect to the other video. Once again, if you don't care about this and just want to see the rankings, skip to here. But anyways, the way I'm going to incorporate the rankings are by adding a new score total, which may or may not bring up or down the scores of the games mentioned in the previous video. And then when those rankings are complete, it's just like the last video with the final tally. Now, of course, like the other video is the same rankings of environmental terror, haunting terror, animatronic design. However, I'm going to change escapability ranking to protection which both includes escapability and the ways you can hide from the animatronics for example in FNAF 1 you have the doors or in FNAF 2 you have the Freddy mask I'm actually adding this because in the previous video I kind of realized that some games should actually be having this ranking so actually thank you guys for mentioning that but anyways without further ado and the explanation out of the way we're going to start off with the nightmare of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 in your bed, you hear noises coming from your hallway. You go to check it out, finding a nightmarish creature standing at the end. You initially believe you're dreaming, however, when checking you soon realize these monsters are real. Before we explain the lore, I actually need to explain the roster that we have here. In FNAF 4, we have seven different animatronics that are hunting you down, not including the Halloween version. And those are being, of course, Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, the originals. And then we have like Mini Freddy's, Fredbear, and last but not least, we have Nightmare. Now, obviously, these aren't all on the same night, just keep that in mind. Now, you may look at these and realize these look just a tiny bit different than the regular animatronics. And well, yeah, this is because they are Nightmare variants. Technically speaking, these Nightmare variants were not real. However, were physically seen by the crying child or Evan Afton, whatever. Freaking, I don't know, bro, but it was someone. Now, for some context on why these animatronics appear frightening, let's rewind the clock to 1983, a tragic incident where William's own creation accidentally caused his daughter's death. He was determined to ensure that his son, Evan, didn't suffer a similar fate at the hands of the animatronics. However, Evan had a deep affection for these characters and frequently went to Fredbear's family diner. And so William devised a plan to terrifying Evan, dissuading him from ever visiting the pizzeria again. Enter the illusion. Discs, a creation of Williams that induced vivid hallucinations, often of horrifying and terrifying imagery. Now, coupled with the nighttime setting, these illusions transformed the animatronics into nightmarish versions, leaving Evan scared and unwilling to return. Except for when he did. Ah, but with the context out of the way, let's get to ranking. Now, for environmental terror, it's pretty self-explanatory that this is just the one. It's literally your home, the place you just sleep and are comfortable. So if it's scary, then you definitely have a problem. No explanation needed. One. Now, for haunting terror, I'm definitely going to rank this at a whopping 8 out of 8. Simply because, as I explained earlier, you're supposed to be comfortable, and that safety has been breached, making you feel vulnerable, therefore making you feel way more terrified. And with their designs, your pants are shitted. Now, now, we have the animatronic design, marking a big impact on the scare factor of this game realistically. Now in the game right, I wouldn't say these are really the scariest, because I feel like they kind of overdid it with the scare factor. However, if you think about it realistically, if you open your door at night and you saw this, listen, you wouldn't need to have that midnight toilet break, okay? I'm going to try to take it an 8 out of 8, once again, simply due to their entire monster-like feel to them, and how fear-inducing they would definitely be realistically. So I would say it's fair to give them an 8 out of 8. Now onto defense. For that 4 gets a 7 out of 8. Being in pajamas in the middle of the night and just getting out of your house isn't going to particularly be saving you if you see these monsters and on your escape attempt they could probably just easily get you so so once again a 7 out of 8 it's pretty okay in my opinion overall FNAF 4 is like that one scenario where you're sitting on your bed debating whether or not to piss your pants or to face spring trap in the hallway trust me we have all been like that but instead of being imaginary you straight up literally see the monster and your home alone as well crazy now on to the next game Five Nights at Freddy's sister location where looks can be deceiving especially when you're trapped on the ground Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. The facility storing animatronics made by William Afton. However, despite their innocent looks, these animatronics are absolutely horrifying. 
sister location offers a different experience from the standard FNAF games. In this installment, the terror is differently per night, and in my opinion, these animatronics, yes, have that creepy toy look to them, except Ennard, but we'll get to that in a sec. But honestly, the scary part of them is when their face opens up and does that weird thing, but to be honest, most of the time when that happens, you're just already dead, so it's like you're never realistically going to see that. Now we have Ennard, the nightmarish amalgamation of wires and animatronics, as another layer of fear. However, a big thing that makes this scary is its environment, with its darkness and literally the only exit being through an elevator makes escaping a challenge. However, overall, sister location realistically would make you feel vulnerable due to its inescapability and how you have to get up and close and personal with these animatronics. So with that out of the way, let's get to ranking. In the environmental terror, FNAF sister locations definitely gets a 6 out of 6. Personally, I think the tangled wires and mess of the place paired with there being minimal light really can give a technician a bit of a spook walking around here. 6 out of 8. However, in the haunting terror category, I'm going to give this a 5. This doesn't mean it's mid, by the way. I just believe that there are definitely others that are simply better. The darkness paired with just being chased by one of these animatronics would make anyone piss their pants for real for real. 5 out of 8. Okay, now for animatronic design, I'm going to give this a 3. Yes, a 3. Simply because they just aren't that scary. Like, compare this to the FNAF 2, like, for example, right? The toy animatronics are just not it, and this is kind of like the same. Like, yeah, there's Ennard, but once again, FNAF 2 did this. I mean, maybe not as well, but then they also have the withered animatronics. Basically, the fun time animatronics overshadow Ennard, therefore making this a 3 out of 8. Now, for defense, this blows every single other FNAF game out of the window. This is an 8 out of 8. Simply because you are straight up in an underground bunker, you have no escape except the one elevator. And this elevator is like from like 1980, so it's probably going to be complete dog ass. And because of the size of this place, are you even going to get to it in time without getting zoinked? It's so easily an 8 out of 8. Now, in conclusion, Sister Location is top in terms of its fright and is up there. It has an amazing blend of environment and lack of defense to mentally frighten you. Personally, I think this has the same amount of scare as the FNAF 3 game, but I think they both scare it in complete opposite ways. Like FNAF 3 scares of its animal electronics but sister location scares with its environment but with that out of the way we now have finance of 3d security breach which after reading the comments i've realized it can actually be scary or can it Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex, the colossal hub of fun in the FNAF franchise, including the four animatronics, Glamrock Freddy and Chica, Monty Gator and Roxy. Now don't even get me started on any of the other animatronics cause sheesh. Now quite frankly, I'm going to be a bit harsh here. What is the law here? I mean, quite frankly, it doesn't really matter because knowing the law here doesn't impact your fear. There's a lot in this game to actually deep dive, but for this, we're only going to talk about the average pizza plex. And not the staff only stuff, because let's face it, no kid in their right mind is going to venture deeper into the pizza plex in a scenario like this. However, to give the benefit of the doubt to this game, you are a kid, and I'm sure if I was alone and had four huge, fast animatronics chasing me, I would be scared like for real, for real. But yeah, with the yap out the way, let's get to ranking. Starting off with environmental design, let's get to two out of eight. Quite frankly it's a mall that's all that needs to be said like yeah i mean a mall after hours can be quite eerie which it is but compared to the other location they just beat this one so easily it's a two out of eight now in haunting terror this gets a one out of eight bro personally i think this is just the least scariest even for a kid now yeah these animatronics are very aggressive but i even think the way the fnaf one animatronic haunt you is just more scary and also kind of paired with the mix of it being an open space making you just know an animatronic is there it's quite mid it's a one out of eight all right call me the number one hater in animatronic design this gets another one, bro. Listen, I know it just sounds like I'm hating on security booth, but it's just not it, man. It's literally, they're all just toy animatronics without the eeriness. Oh, yeah, if you think about the blob and freaking cringe trap or whatever his name is, yeah, fair enough, but who's gonna see that guy? It's a one. However, in defense, I'm going to give this a five. Quite frankly, there is no escape, and that gets pointed out to you in the game specifically. And that is quite scary, especially when you think you can escape, and then... However, to protect yourself, you are given a few items and wasted dodge these animatronics, like the stun gun, or literally hiding in Freddy, or literally hiding anywhere in this giant ass pizza, 5 out of 6. Overall, with all the hating aside, I actually think if you were in the pizza plex after hours, you definitely would be scared. It's just clearly compared to the other ones, it's just not as good. Now actually, speaking of staying, for the many people who are still staying in this video, I would highly consider subscribing. I put a lot of effort into these videos, so a sub and a comment would greatly help. I'm on the road to 5,000 subscribers so you know every sub counts i also stream every day but now we have our next game or should i just say dlc we now have security breach ruin which may just redeem the pizza place
The Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Plex, now ruined and abandoned. It is your job to survive. Now, technically, you wouldn't actually be going here, but let's put this through Cassie's eyes trying to save Gregory. Or is this actually Gregory? Being given a mask and exploring the eerie ruins of what once was, you encounter an AI trying to stop you. Now, I'm gonna say this. The animatronics here are goddamn scary, but that does not even compare to the one animatronic that is truly nightmarish. Now, the reason why this animatronic AI, whatever, is absolutely horrifying is because this thing can mimic other people's voices. Now, when you're hearing another human being, especially one that you're friends with, you'll probably be in a sense of security. However, as soon as you realize that voice that you heard was not your friends, your entire sense of safety and everything falls apart. Basically, meaning you shit yourself. Literally, paired with that and all the other animatronic designs makes this game very horrifying. So let's get to ranking. Starting off with Environmental Terror, this game a whopping 8 out of 8. Yes, I said it ladies and gentlemen, I truly think this game has the eeriest environment, to everything being abandoned, and it being just creepy as flip. I'm sure people definitely wouldn't agree with here, but I don't care bro. 8 out of 8 man. However, in Haunting Terror, I would only say this gets a 2 out of 8. Honestly though, I feel that it's definitely scary, especially because of the mimic. However, the others are just better. For animatronic design, here gets a 6 out of 8. It's pretty good since literally every animatronic here is all gooped up and screwed up, making anyone who encounters them scared as hell. Now look at Monty, bro. What is this? 6 out of 8. Now, for defense, this gets a 4 out of 8. Now, technically, you can kind of get out of here if you figure out in the beginning. However, after that, you're pretty screwed. You do have the Vanny Moss, so that is pretty good, but in general, it is pretty hard to defend and get yourself out of there. 4 out of 8. Overall, I think Security Breach Ruin definitely redeems Security Breach's fear and is a pretty scary DLC. But now, with all those games out of the way, we can finally get to the sweet final rankings. Okay, this ranking is actually from every single game I have done, not just from this video. So this includes the first video. So let's begin. Starting off in 8th place, we have Security Breach. I mean, are we surprised here? It is the least scary FNAF game. It is still scary though, if you think about it. But then we have 7 more that are just better. Speaking of 7th, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Once again, we also probably just saw this coming. In 6th most scary, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Honestly, it only starts to become close scores after 5th onwards. But yeah, in 5th place, we have Security Breach Ruin. These scores, by the way, are literally like one point from each other and literally we have a joint fourth third and second which in fact are five nights of freddy's free five nights of freddy's sister location and five nights of freddy's pizzeria simulator it's pretty weird since the other video five nights of freddy's pizzeria simulator was the most scary but because of our winner five nights of freddy's four it actually got put down a bit but yeah that was the final total if you didn't agree with my opinion cry about it but with that all the way and five nights of freddy's four being crowned the best five nights of freddy's game i am ebonic i hope you enjoyed and goodbye